morning here. My day four vlog for my first week. I'm making sure I get some fishing in every day. Oh, except for the weekends. I gotta have a break at some point. Anyway, it's freaking cold this morning. Cold for here anyway. 44 degrees. Ugh. Anyway, rough night. Blood sugar is all over the place. So I didn't get too much sleep and we are taking the car in to get the transmission worked on again. So I will be getting a rental. So I was sitting here trying to think, how am I gonna even fish for 30 minutes if I'm gonna rental? I don't know if I'm getting a car or what, you know? I'm gonna fish my, you know, fit my poles or anything like that in the car. So, then I remembered last year I bought this cheap Amazon travel rod that's that I got just to put in a backpack. So I grabbed a backpack, put the little travel rod in, and uh, got a couple artificial shrimp. So that way we will drop the car off, hopefully get our rental, and then we will just drive to whatever body of water's closest to the dealership. And we'll, if there's a bait shop, we'll try and get some bait. Because like I said, I would like to try and get some sheep's head. Um, but if not, we'll throw some, some of these artificial shrimp and, you know, give it an hour or two, you know, I'll, I still got a bunch of stuff I got to do today and I'm, I'm pretty beat. So let's get the rental, let's get our fishing in and then we'll, we'll go, go home, maybe take a nap and then finish off the rest of the day with, uh, everything else that I need to get done. So I will catch you on the flip side in my rental of whatever they give me. Be back in a little bit. What kind of car or loaner do you think they're gonna give me? The truck, car, SUV, I'd say usually I get some kind of a hybrid, you know, like a SUV type thing, you know, mid-sized SUV. Usually it's like an Equinox, a Terrain. It is a Chevy dealership, so I'm expecting a Chevy. I did get a uh, Chevy Colorado, you know, one of the mid-sized trucks once, which wasn't that bad. I didn't have much of but you know. What do you guys think I'm gonna get? everybody I don't know why I even make an appointment I've talked to like four or five people in the past week they're supposed to have a rental car ready for me so I had a whole day lined up I had my fishing rod packed up in my backpack I had everything set up to just drop off my car like they said get the rental and we we're gonna do a fishing video five hours later thankfully someone returned a car otherwise I would be stuck there I, I don't know anyway and now it's starting to rain so you know, I, I want to keep to my, my, my goal, so I, I ran I'm really close to the historic Coco and the 520 bridge, so we're going to run over to this bait shop real quick and uh, see if I can't get a couple crabs or some shrimp, and then we'll drop off at the bridge, and unfortunately I'm only going to have make maybe 30, 40 minutes to fish, and then I got to get going, so I mean, hey, it's better than nothing, so I'm not going to complain, um, my day is not going too hot, but Hey, if we can end it with some fishing and maybe catch something small, I mean, that's a win. Like I said, I, I think I'll feel better once I just go fishing, even if I don't catch anything. All right, well, let's go get some bait, see what we can do.
right, let's do this. Please. looking like a bus but then again like I said we're only fishing for like 30 minutes but uh, low tide not really the best conditions honestly it's rainy windy is what it is I've caught some 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 decent fish here a lot of trout but like I said I only brought one rod so give it maybe another 20 minutes just because I'm looking at the bridge here and it's got it's like a traffic jam i'm guessing the well, cruise ship either got out or something like that but wait for that traffic to kind of go away and then uh we'll take off i gotta get back i got more stuff to do okay <clears throat> That was a bust, guys. I just lost like four jigs in like 10 minutes. I just don't have the time to, to try and find a better spot right now. So I just went to the closest thing. And unfortunately, sometimes that's what they call it fishing because uh, we ain't getting nothing today. I thought about maybe going to the boat ramp later tonight if I got time, <clears throat> we'll see. But uh, this might be it for today, guys. So hopefully we'll have better luck tomorrow. I'll try and find us a better spot. But uh, thanks for watching. Catch you on the flip side. And so when I was walking back, I saw two other guys fishing over here and they've been fishing since this morning when I would have gotten out here and they said they fished all over this, this area. And it is, you know, they haven't seen it this dead in a while. So maybe it's just this cold front that we got going through. Her. But I definitely feel a lot better because this is where I was planning on going. Uh, you know, so we might not have that much luck anyway. You know, some days are like that. But um, yeah, I mean, I definitely plan on, I want to come out here in my kayak because there's a lot of structure, a lot of pillars. And I think that there'd be a lot of sheep's head out here. But anytime you're fishing in an area that's got easy access and spots like this even on a weekday there's always fishermen there so it's always going to be very uh you know stressful for the fish and super snag prone as i found out uh again in this spot i always lose so much tackle there's just always so much rocks and then you have everybody else already snagged on the rocks and then their line so it's one of those spots that you could be really productive here if you fished it all the time and you found out the angles and the, the holes and all that kind of stuff but if you're just showing up you know hoping to be successful in, in these really popular spots it's probably not going to happen uh you can get lucky sure but um <clears throat> we'll try and get the kayak out here eventually and um like i said a, half the battle is just getting out here on the water seeing what's going on seeing what's working seeing if you see any fish and from what i'm seeing here is you know 
it, it does look like the guys on the boats are catching some she sheep's head off the uh, underneath the bridge so we'll have to get the kayak out there it's just i haven't had more than you know an hour or two of free time to, to take the kayak out so we'll try again tomorrow of course now i got the rental so i can't really hook up the trailer so maybe we'll do some surf fishing uh tomorrow we'll see what the weather's like anyway thanks again for watching everybody i hope you are uh, having a good week and uh get you on the next one peace okay one quick note before i run uh it's just a matter of time for one of these days that i go just for a quick fishing trip that it's going to be epic i mean it's bound to happen right i mean you can't you can't just get skunked at, well i haven't been getting skunked, skunked but you know what i mean I mean, eventually one of these trips is going to be super productive which one will it be that's the question and where will it be i don't know anyway guys we'll get on the fish like i said i'm just i'm just getting warmed up 2024 is just getting going